Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, and today is day one of the Upside Down Readathon! <laughs> Super excited because this will be my first readathon as a participant that I am going all out for. For some reason, anytime there's like Summerween or like even the Suns Out Books Out readathon, something was already happening like in my life to where I was not gonna be able to give them at all. So I'm really excited for this week to hopefully daily vlog so let's cross our fingers that happens with daily vlogs they may not be super long 20 plus minute videos but i'm going to give it my all get it up for you guys because i'm super excited for this readathon if you don't know what this readathon is it is a strangers thing readathon hosted by six lovely ladies here on youtube you have kendall caitlin Liv. Jordan, Naomi, and Lauren, who are the hosts for the readathon. I did post my September TBR video just a few days ago, but in case you missed it and you're just now joining the vlog series right here, I'll just go ahead and do like a quick run through. So for the first prompt, which is a book with lights on the cover, I am going to be doing my best friend's exorcism and I'm using the moonlight in the background as my little cheat into the prompt. This one has First of all, if this isn't Scream 80s with a VHS cover, I don't know what else does. But this one is about two best friends who are spending a summer together and something happens to where one of the friends is acting a little weird. And it does ask a question, is their friendship power enough to beat the devil? So super fun. I think this is YA as well, but I'm really excited because I've heard nothing but good things. Me and Grady Hendrix have not really had a good reading relationship so i'm really excited because i feel like this is the one that most people talk about and recommend the most for the next one it is a psychological thriller so i will be picking up daisy darker i'm not sure if this is a hundred percent psychological thriller but i googled it and the words psychological thriller were in the description so this one follows a woman named daisy and she is returning to her nana's remote island mansion for her 80th birthday and all the family gets back together for the first time in over a decade and then something happens where one by one they start dying so it's kind of like an isolation clue vibe mystery so i'm really excited for this one hopefully i like it the next prompt is multiple point of views this one is not really themed like the other two but I really want to pick it up to finish the series but I have Life's Too Short by Abby Jimenez. This is book three in the Friend Zone series. This is book three in the Friend Zone series. I don't know why that was really hard for me to say but this one definitely has points of views because you follow Vanessa and then you also follow Adrian. Vanessa has always had this like live life in the moment type of motto and one day she kind of like has to take care of a baby and like the hot lawyer neighbor is kind of helping her so I think this will be really cute and a little spicy to add to the mix. The fourth prompt which I actually don't have a book for I am still looking for a book so if it does come up I'll add it but it is a book with a game or competition into the into the synopsis so still on the lookout for that one and then book five is to do one of the buddy reads. Now all the co-hosts have their own books that they picked out and they're doing buddy reads over on discord i'll leave the discord link down below for you guys to check out so you're supposed to pick based on your favorite character from stranger things and steve two hand hip steve is my absolute favorite character and he's not bad to look at either so that is lauren's pick so guess me and lauren have good taste but i will be reading the saturday night ghost club by um, I almost said Nick Cutter, but it's Greg Davidson, which I've heard they're the same person. I also heard, I think from Keisha, she told me that this is not really YA or young adult. Um, it's actually adult, which I'm kind of confused on, but I'm really excited. This one follows uh, Jake Baker, who just turned 12. He's kind of following some friends that are new to town, and then his uncle kind of initiates them into the Saturday Night Ghost Club. Don't really know anything else about that, but I definitely want to read this. Probably, I don't think there's an audiobook for it, but 
I'll do some research. Today is also Labor Day, and it's also my me and my husband's wedding anniversary, seven years, if you can believe that. And it's also my oldest dog, Ovi's birthday. He is eight years old, which makes me so sad because he's such a grumpy old man and an old fart. But I have the day off because we don't work on Labor Day where I work. I do have quite a few things on my agenda today. I want to do some planning, brainstorming for basically to redo my book club um, called Sleep When I'm Dead. I kind of want to redo it, revamp it a little bit, just kind of brainstorm ideas and try to get something done and ready for October, November. I would also like to take some of these books that are just staring at me um, in my unhaul pile. I'd like to go to like a few free little libraries. So I might take a few books with me just to kind of get rid of because I hate staring at this pile. And then I definitely want to go to Barnes and Noble and go some book shopping. Um, there are two books that I found out are available at my Barnes and Noble. And then I kind of want to look for a third one. The two that I know are there, they're romances, but I definitely want to get, I don't know, I feel like I'm falling more in love with romance and out of love with thrillers for some reason and I don't know why so I want like an even balance. Also I wanted to mention tomorrow night Tuesday I will have reading sprints on my channel. I usually do them every Monday night but the hosts of the readathon are hosting it on Monday which is totally fine. I will be there in the chat with them um, but Tuesday night I will be doing some reading sprints and I will also have some friends on my channel. Yeah I'm super excited to host some reading sprints with some friends as well. I've had one person on at a time but I've never had a total of six including myself. But yeah I'm really excited to have a bunch of people here on my channel that way we can talk and chat and get some reading in. But yeah I will have Gwen over from Gwendolyn Kinsinger, Ashley's Little Library, Keisha from A Book Like You, Lena's Bookshelf, and Gabbing About Books. Yeah I think I think what I'm going to do to kind of get like all my errands done, I think I'm going to start Daisy Darker and listen to the audiobook as I head into town. This one is the one I always come to. I used to have a bunch of like book of the month books, but I think whoever's been donating has not been donating. So I'm going to put a book of the month book in there. I also really want to get rid of this book, so. Also at a dog park, which is super cute. Um, nothing really at first glance. This one's ruined. It probably needs to be thrown away. That's a chunker. Yeah, nothing really in this one, so hopefully I'm gonna put mine right up top so it doesn't get damaged. It's only 76 degrees, but it feels like in the 90s. I just left Barnes and Noble and I ended up picking out the two books I went in there for, so I didn't buy anything extra. So the two books I got were Archer's Voice by Mia 
Sheridan. This one I've heard really good reviews. Um, there is a TikToker called Basic Books and I love her content. Like I just like how her videos are and I feel like I'm getting like new romance recommendations from there. So this one was one that she recommended and she also recommended this one which I did not realize how big it was but it's Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. It's kind of weird how they're both blue with flowers on them. So but yeah, those are the two books I got. I was going to Free Little Libraries, but then it started rain, so I was like, let me go in Barnes & Noble, and while the rain kind of decides what it wants to do. I did look on my Free Little Library map, and there are two little libraries within, like, walking distance of each other, is what it says. So... I think I'm going to try to go over there. I know one of them I've been to before. It's at a church. So I probably won't get anything out of there. But you never know. Yeah, I'm very excited to have those two books. Um, I don't know what it is, y'all. I guess I'm just more into romance. I did look at the thrillers, but there was nothing that, like, really caught my eye. And I know this is stupid, but if I'm going to purchase a new like book I kind of want it in a paperback just for one they're much more comfortable to read with and two um they're cheaper like a lot cheaper also I did want to throw this hack out there because I don't know if it's been like a known thing or whatnot but someone told me about this a while ago and every time I do it I end up saving at least five dollars at Barnes and Noble but like when you get to the checkout, just ask them if it's cheaper on their website. And if it is, they will give you the, the cheaper price. So I was gonna pay like $38, $39 for those two books and it ended up coming out to 33 after checking online. So definitely recommend that. sure if that's like why it said there was two but I'm going to give um, When You Were Mine by Michael Robotham. I feel like this is like the most tame <laughs> out of the other ones and it's right here in front of church so don't want to leave nothing spicy. Good, how are you? <laughs> Ooh, there was someone kind of sketchy like walking around he kind of looked homeless so I feel bad but like he like stopped in his tracks and like walked up to me so I was just like mm -mm. so I like dumped the book and I said mm, peace out so on my way to the next one I found one just sitting on the side of the road it doesn't have a lot but it looks a lot more safer so I'm going to turn the car off and take the keys with me this time So this is a three-tier one, but it looks like everything's up top. Let's see. Doesn't look like there's much. The sound of healing. Cookbook. Looks like this is a lot more Christian books, in my opinion. I think we'll be getting a new car bag, so I'm just gonna put that one like that. So that way if people drive by, they can see it. Looks like we've got two more spots, and then we can head on to the rest of our errands. I found another one, and I remember last time I was at this one, had a lot of books, so I'm really excited to see this one. I don't think I'm going to take my camera because there's someone out there, but I'll just angle it. Okay, so I dropped off the book and I did get something, but it's not a book. I got a puzzle. It's a little 300 piece puzzle. Here's a better picture. 
I thought this was kind of cute. That way I can, you know, I'm giving six books away. I deserve to get something. Is the last stop of our free little library adventure. Um, although I didn't get any books, I did get a puzzle and I did buy two books at Barnes and Noble. So I would consider that a success. All right, I think I'm going to head to like Walmart to grab a few things, especially for dinner tonight. Um, we're having pork chops, but I kind of want to make it like a little extra special because I have this like pineapple salsa that goes really well with pork chops and then probably grab a few things and then we'll head home and actually get some reading in. I've been working with some book club stuff. I'm part of a Facebook book club, so I do a little bit of the admin work as well. So right now, I am getting ready for some reading sprints over on Liv's channel. She's one of the hosts, so I will leave all the host information down there, but it's getting ready to start in less than a minute. I realized I never really gave you a big update on Daisy Darker. I think I'm about 25% into the audiobook, and to be honest, I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I would say I'm not a fan of it. However, I've been told to like push through and then I will like it. So I think the issue with me is knowing it's like a, and then there were none inspired story, clue, who done it. I think that's the reason why I'm not enjoying it. So, but hopefully by the end of these reading sprints, I will be enjoying it. Waiting patiently for the live show. Yes. yes. Classic. We love it. Hey, Gabby. I'm starting with the six today. I need to read that one. All right, guys. It is actually end of day one, and I'm so tired. I am ready to go to bed. Unfortunately, I do have to go to work tomorrow but we will see what day two looks like. I'm really excited to finish Daisy Darker. I'm really excited to post the other photo challenge that's going on, so yeah. And of course, Reading Sprints, make sure you subscribe and check out the Reading Sprints going on Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But catch me tomorrow morning and I will give you an update on Daisy Darker. Bye.